Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Signature Movement. It's your girl Tanya D. Floyd here on this lovely Saturday. Um, I was out earlier enjoying the day and I, you know, I had some thoughts that just popped up and said, you know what, talk to the people today because I feel like this is important for me and for maybe somebody else. I don't know. I'm feeling energy, girl. I got you. So I'm going to do this thing, but um, I have a confession to make. I'm going to make it in a minute, but um, I want to talk about, no, I'm going to say that to the end. Selfie cameras versus the reverse camera. We're going to talk about that a little bit after I do the confession because then you'll get it. It'll, it'll make sense. But for now, I was taking some selfies and I was all like, oh, girl, you, uh, but then sweat started. So, you, <laughs> I can't, I can't. Let me tell you, I paid somebody yesterday, yesterday, to do this hair. But, um, yeah. These, these parts still doing what they supposed to do down here, right? But what lies beneath is a totally different matter. It's, ooh, honey, look, what lies beneath. <sighs> so... Anyway, we're going to take a walk. So my confession has to do with the relationship that I'm in. Been in it for a while. Um, it's complicated. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, I wrote this piece in my blog. And then I think I wrote it in the signature movement too. You know, that whole single mama saga, mama needs it, you know, all that stuff. So I wrote some things about some feelings I was having with some situations that were occurring um, with me and my girlfriend. We weren't. We still not. Yes, we not. So, yeah, I'm in a relationship. Let me introduce you to her right now. This girl right here. This girl right here. Okay, so... I know it's unfair what I expect of this girl right here, but for the last almost 20 years, we've been dealing with some things out of our control. And some of them, you probably say we could control because, you know, weight and fitness and all of that, but mm, we done tried some things and because menopause, we just not going to be able to get over this hump without a surgeon. Okay. But let's just talk about the things. Exhibit A. I'm sorry. Let's let's separate these into A and B. So Exhibit A, gallbladder surgery in 2011, left me with an imbalance in my uh, what do you call it? Gastrointestinal system. The ecosystem just all out of balance. It ain't doing what it's supposed to do. And sometimes bloating, water weight, just gas, just all kinds of too much going on right here right exhibit a okay we got pieces that can conceal this they do a good job but I, I i i want it to go away sometimes i want to just take the whole thing throw it up throw it in the trash and just no nah, we don't like it we don't want it we're not gonna look at it no more exhibit b two natural births c-section i still can't feel nothing around this area i don't feel nothing 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 how I'm supposed to fix the muscles they don't need. They cut it. I don't think it worked no more. So anyway, A and B. Exhibit C. We just feel like nobody should have this much of this. Well, not us. We don't want this much of this, okay? We don't like it. But some people do. Um, we ain't mad at this right here. Not mad at all. Keep it. Yep. All these 28 steps. Yep, we like it. We want it. We're going to keep that. A and B. Oh, Lord. And um, it's a water weight gain kind of day. Because look at this. The ankles. They, mm -mm. No. Well, middle age, motherhood, and menopause. We, It's the devil. We don't like none of it. But let me get back. So that my confession is that I am not at all satisfied with this girl right here. I don't like her 
I have not liked her for a very long time. But at the same time, I love her. She is... <sighs> she is. She just... Y'all don't know about this girl right here. She is amazing. And if I came up across anybody... If you put me up against anybody else, I'm going to be like, she can't beat me? What you talking about? With all that, no. Because... Mm -mm, I got gifts and talents you don't even know about. You ain't never going to know about. Please, you can't put me down. So, it's not that we have a self-esteem issue. We have the very highest esteem for ourselves, okay? Um, it's not even... I don't know what it is. It's complicated. Didn't I tell you? This girl right here, I would... I wouldn't trade her for anybody else if that makes any kind of sense based on what I just said. I wouldn't trade her. I like her keeper. But every now and then I wake up and feel like, oh, it's too much. We don't feel like it. I did write a poem once called Rebellion in My Body. It was about just certain things that were going on with me at the time. Some of them were new. So I just felt like this body just won't do right. I don't I don't know what to do with it. I can't control it. It's not right. But then, you know, I compare her often to somebody we knew when we were 25. Yeah, 25. Girl. I would trade gladly with the 24-year-old Tanya D. Floyd. Absolutely. Yep. Give it, give it here. Hmm. In the blink of an eye, this body is gone. We going back to 1994, okay? Not playing. But we can't. And then, you know, when I get to moving around sometimes, like, this light won't show it that well. But just beads upon beads of sweat. Just, look, look. I paid somebody to do this hair yesterday evening. I don't even know why I keep going. I can't, I can't, I don't know how to handle this and go forward with it, but I'm thinking it's just part of the process and I got to go through it to get to the other side. Cause again, wouldn't trade her for anybody except 24 year old Tanya D. Floyd. I'm a keeper cause you know, some things inside here that you can't buy, sell, replace, trade, no. So, yeah, um, in a relationship, it's complicated. Have you ever felt like this? Like, have you? You, you? you know what I'm saying. Even if I'm not saying it right, you know what I'm saying. Girl, I got you. I'm sorry. I'm praying for you. Um, oh, my point that I wanted to make that wouldn't make sense before. So, you know, on your phone, you have a selfie lens. And you have a reverse camera. However, when you're looking at yourself, you're usually using the selfie lens. Have you ever noticed how the selfie lens kind of distorts certain things? Look at this. Just water running everywhere. I'm going to finish my thought. So you ever noticed the selfie lens kind of distorts stuff? Like if you do like this, you know, the girls look a little weird some days. They be big and wide and extra. Just extra parts on the on the girls, right? Because the lens is made differently than the one on the other side. So when you're looking at yourself without the camera, just just when you're looking at yourself, your lens is different. It's clouded, it's jaded, it's um, emotional, it's judgmental, it's just hateful. The selfie lens that you're looking at yourself with, you can't trust that. You can't let me tell you, true story. When I look at pictures of myself, I know what I look like, but I can't see me. I tried to explain this to my friend a long time ago. He was like, I think I know what you mean. Listen, if you understand what I'm saying, please let me know, girl. Because this, I feel like I'm going crazy some days, but... The selfie lens doesn't allow you to see, see. You know what I mean? You can look at pieces of the whole, but you can't look at the whole and treat it 
the way it's supposed to be treated because you don't see what they see. You don't get all of the nuances and the pieces from that side. You're not always looking at yourself. You know what's in there, but you can't. You don't have the whole picture. So I'm going to say be nice to yourself, even though this is one of those days I woke up and was like, no. Nah. <laughs> My Facebook status was all upbeat. People probably thought I was in a good mood because I said, um, you know, something about happy Saturday and go do something different by yourself. Something, have dessert. Da, da, da. That's all that PMS, honey. I need to feel better on this here day, okay? Notice. I did all the things today. All the things. I'm about to go pin up my hair right now because cause this. It's hot. It's always hot. It's never not hot. Okay, in the middle of the night, every now and then I get cold. I put a sheet or something. Look at this. Oh my God, you can't see it dripping down my neck. It is. But it, it looks. Ugh. But anyway, I get cold. I put a sheet on. Flames, gotta take it right back off. This is the story of me right now. Right now. I'm so much better than this. I'm bigger than this. I'm more than this. So I'm gonna look at this as a temporary discomfort, a phase, just like all the other phases, like the acne phase that I went through when I was 16 when I found Mary Kay. Ain't put it down yet. I gotta keep using it. Just a phase. It is not the sum total of Tanya D. Floyd. Therefore, I'm going to turn the selfie lens around every now and then and look at other things instead of putting the spotlight so much on. These. A, B, C, D, <laughs> the guns. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share a moment of vulnerability with you and transparency. I ain't going to be all the way transparent. I ain't doing no lingerie sessions or no swimsuit modeling. Forget about it. Because C and D, honey, thunder. Mm. Dude told me years ago, um, you got thighs like Earl Campbell. Thanks, dude. Thanks a lot. I'm feeling real sexy right now. I'm going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. No. So anyway, <sighs> it's a phase. Because menopause. Because middle age. Cause motherhood, cause childbirth, cause C-section. Oh, and all them workout junkies that's talking about, oh, I can get that off you. I don't want to. I don't want to do what you're telling me to do. I feel you. I know you're talking about them sit-ups, them crunches, them planks, and all that stuff. Tried it several different times. Took pictures of it. Kept my, my progress. Did the squat challenge, all that. And you know what happened? I sweated, 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 sweated. I hated it every single day. And I felt better when I got a nice tone situation going on. But you know what? I got sick. And for some weeks, I couldn't work out. I was sick, like in the bed, like flu sick. When I got back to it, looking in the mirror, it was like I never did anything. I can't be in them kind of relationships. That is not reciprocal. And I, I put in too much work to get back nothing. So... No, nah, I'm not sweating for that. Mm -mm. I need a surgeon or I'm going to keep working on this mental. But still in a relationship, still com still complicated. It's just how it's going to be till I figure it out. Okay? I hope you feel better. Take care.